Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's been an absolutely marvelous meeting, and I'm absolutely glad that you're here. Um, you know, we opened this meeting up, I think, with a, a fantastic opening session. Um, you've had an enormous um, opportunity, I think, to uh, explore uh, new science, uh, meet new friends, meet old friends, um, engage in um, healthy foods, engage in unhealthy foods. <laughs> All right, I admit it. Um, I understand some of you are going out tonight to one of the blues, uh, hear the blues, and that's acceptable in Chicago. Um, and we did try to um, um, do some things to make this a, a great meeting. Let me just ask if you would give the folks in, in, in Illinois and Chicago a great round of applause for the weather. Yeah, these Chicago folks, they have, they have lots and lots of control. I'm not sure what the political price will have to pay for the weather, but it'll be something. So we're glad to have you here. And this, let me tell you, we're glad to have all 13,100 of you here. And it's really one of my great pleasures to bring to you the president of the American Public Health Association, Dr. Shariki Kawanichi. Good afternoon. Well, this is my last opportunity to address you uh, in the role of president of APHA although I'll certainly continue to be involved in the role of immediate past president and, and beyond. This is also my only opportunity to publicly thank my husband, Christian Morsink, and all of you who have supported me 360 degrees in this role. I have appreciated it. I'm a bit of an introvert, that's a secret, but I, so I needed that support, and I really appreciate the support that I received from you. I took on this opportunity for, uh, uh, as a service in the leadership of an organization that has been my professional home and reference point for nearly 40 years and has given me so much in so many ways. The experience has been extremely rewarding. I feel that I've been able to help with building bridges both within APHA and between APHA and other sectors and in spreading our message. I've been especially rewarded by the feedback I've had from so many of you during this meeting who have told me that the concept of being generation public health, which was the theme of my remarks during the opening session, really resonates for you. I mean, I couldn't get from one place to another in the hallways without people saying that that message resonated and how much they appreciated that. And that is APHA's message. It's not Chiriki's message, it is our message and I was the one who had the privilege of delivering that message to you. As I said in the opening session, helping to kick off something that will ultimately be seen as the public health movement that turned the tide toward health and health equity is a truly unique opportunity to make a difference. At this point, I sense that we're ready to move forward with this major public health movement and that we know that we cannot turn back. We have to achieve and then we have to sustain what we achieve because sometimes it, it, we think we're there and we rest and it goes away. You know, the opponents come out. So we have a, a big challenge ahead of us. But I think we are poised for positive change. I think we're poised to reframe public health as a success story, poised to promote health equity as a fundamental principle of our society, we are poised to reframe public health as a pathway for solutions rather than as a repository for problems that are caused by forces that are beyond our control. I think we are poised to be strategic actors, not seeing public health as a victim of inattention and underfunding, but seeing ourselves and our profession as strong enough, tall enough, and smart enough to stand with the disadvantaged 
and facilitate their empowerment to improve their opportunities for health and well-being. In a sense, what we're saying with Generation Public Health is that we commit to influencing the powers that control the determinants of health by sitting at their tables and bringing them to our tables, by going to their boardrooms and their hallways, by going to the voting booth and even being on the ballot, by standing outside or inside of City Hall as the circumstances require, and by raising our voices in digital spaces. And I'm gonna make a promise to learn how to tweet and you all ask me next year <laughs> if I've done that. <laughs> I read tweets, but I haven't pushed the button yet. <laughs> but being poised to do these things is only that. The how is yet to come. I hope that this meeting on the theme of health and all policies has been as informative and inspiring for you as it has been for me. And I hope that all of us will see the close of this meeting as really the beginning of individual and collective transformations that will make America the healthiest nation in a generation. So it's now my pleasure to pass the gavel to my friend and colleague, the new president of APHA, someone who is widely known as a public health leader and a powerful voice for health equity. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Kamara Jones. Thank <laughs> you.